will all of that impact our queues this morning on the Indian markets? We do have a research team joining in with us on our power prep segment. And uh, good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining in with us this morning. Horwaz, I'm going to start with you as always. How are the queues looking like? Asian markets have not opened up uh, quite on a positive note. But what are we watching out for today? Good morning, Vinny, and it was a fabulous session, right, on Wall Street, and that was kind of expected as well, considering the moves that we saw earlier on in the futures market. But the Indian markets too continued their recovery from uh, mid mid afternoon on Tuesday, and that reflected in yesterday's session as well. From the Monday's low, now the Nifty is up almost 700 points. The Nifty Bank is up almost 1300 points from those sessions. But now is when the key levels come into the picture. The IT stocks were the ones that outperformed yesterday, contrary to expectations. Two things that aided that Trump also made his statement saying that he is not very against legal immigration and of course the rupee hitting a record low against the dollar that aided sentiment for IT names. The broader markets continued to do well as well with the mid cap and small cap indices outperforming but now the, what today what we need to watch out for is the levels. The Nifty ended higher yesterday but it still closed below last week's low of 24,498. That remains the key level to watch. The Nifty, is also, the Nifty Bank has also closed below last week's high so that is another monitorable. It's the weekly expiry for the Nifty today and of course how long can the Indian IT stocks continue to move up just on a weak rupee that is another key monitorable and the key other key event to watch out for tonight will be of course the outcome of the Fed meeting a rate cut is almost priced in but commentary on the future action from the Fed is the one that will be watched out for the earnings reactions continue earnings from Trent Mahindra and Mahindra and Cochin Shipyard and escorts are coming out today but the gift Nifty is indicating a slight bit of pressure important levels coming into play today back to you Okay, important levels coming into play today, so keeping an eye out on that. But let's move on and talk about important stocks that you should be keeping on your radar today. Mamakshi, over to you and good morning. Well, good morning, Vinny. Let me first start off with Tata Steel. A good set coming in from the company with the company reporting a net profit of 758 crores. This is much better than what the street was anticipating. Revenue came in at 53,904 crores and the margins came in at 11.4%. Both of these figures were better than the street's expectations. Apollo Hospitals too reported a good set. Net profit came in above expectations at 395 crores. Revenue was more or less in line at 5,589 crores, while margins came in at 14.6%. And that is nearly 60 basis points higher than expectations. Gujarat Gas reported uh, a net profit of 307 crores. This is slightly above the street's expectations. Revenue came in at 3,781 crores. This again is slightly below expectations, but the margins were much better. We were working with a figure of 11.5%. They've come in at 13.6%. Power Grid's net profit came in at 3,793 crores. This is above expectations, while revenue came in at 11,277 crores. This is slightly below what we we were working with. Uh, you know, uh, Blue Star reported a net profit uh, up uptick of almost 35.6%. Revenue too saw a surge of nearly 20.4%. Kansai Narulak, on the other hand, reported a downtick of almost 31% in its net profit. Revenue uh, was more or less flat, but slightly with a negative bias. Uh, margins, however, also saw a contraction from 14% to 10.9%. Chambal Ford reported net profit growth of 41%, revenue downtick of 19.3%. Lastly, let's also focus in on the MSCI November review. This is important because inclusions in the MSCI Global Standard Index include uh, likes of Voltas, BSC, Alchem, Oberoi Realty, Kalyan Jewelers, HDFC Bank will see the second tranche of weight increase and lastly watch out for Danny Green because MSCI has not added it in the index, uh, their weighting clarity on the free float. Thanks so much for that Vamakshi and finally Sudarshan coming to you, what are the cues in the world of FNO looking like? We do have the Nifty Weekly expiry today. <gasps> That's correct. Good morning, Vinny. We saw a huge intraday move for second straight day and amid broad-based gains, all the major indices closed with gains of more than 1% each. And for today, Gift Nifty, despite a strong handover, is indicating a start with cuts for our market and same momentum can be seen in the flows as well. FIs remain sellers in the cash market. In uh, Yesterday, we saw even in the futures, FIs have sold almost with 500 core. At the same time, they have cut long positions by more than 2,000 contracts and at the same time they have added short contracts of more than 2,100 and with this long exposure by FIs are now at 25.8 percent but on the client side they continue to add long positions their long exposure now stands at 66.3 percent on the options front 24,500 call was an active option it saw addition of more than 49 lakh shares 
24,600 callers in addition again, more than 29 lakh shares. And on the put side, 24,300 put has seen addition of 39 lakh shares and 24,400 has seen addition of more than 32 lakh shares. And with this support level for Nifty is now seen somewhere around 24,100 and resistance is now at 24,400. Two stocks that I'll focus on is are Gale and ICC Prudential on the back of recent moves that these two stocks have seen. Thanks so much for that, Sudarshan.